All right, so we finally became a Quinty car, and Quinty car is pretty good. I actually might main this. I was not expecting this at all, but it's actually worth becoming a Quinty car. But this took way longer than it needed to be. I want to say it probably took me about five to six hours to become a Quinty car, only because there's so much false information in the peroxide community, and I just had to make a video because I don't want you to waste time just like I did or waste spins or anything like that because there's so much false information going on, bro. It's not even funny. So first things first, before you actually become a Quincy card, there's things that you have to know before you actually progress as one, right? So boom. So the first thing you need to know in order to become a Quincy card, you need to be a hollow. No, you cannot be a Quincy and become a Quincy card. You have to be a hollow first. You have to go through the hollow progression and then you become a Quincy card. That's the first thing you need to do. If you became a Quincy, then you need to reset your slot or buy a new slot because you cannot be a Quincy card as a Quincy. You have to go through the hollow progression first and then you become a Quincy. Now, the second thing that's really important is the clan skills and Aronkar skills, they do not transfer. I don't know who decided to say that the clan skills and the hollow skills transfer, but it, that's not true. It does not transfer at all. Nothing transfer except for buffs. And I wasted so much time doing this, bro, as a vassal or trying to get my skills up and all that, thinking that my skills would transfer. No, it is not true. Nothing transfers except for your Aronkar buffs. And that leads to the third thing. Now, the third thing that's really important is you can be any type of Aron car to be a Quincy car. You could be a Menos car, Adju car, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, or a Vassal car. I recommend being a Vassal car because you get the best buffs out of, out of the three of them. Now, as a Menos car, that's like the, the weakest one out of the Aron cars. You could be a Menos car. Like I said, I highly don't recommend being a, a Menos car. There's buffs that you get and you'll see in the screen. So press pause if it's going too fast. Menos car is the weakest out of the Aron car. Then you have Aju car, which is the second strongest out of the, uh, out of the wrong car. Like I said, I don't recommend being that either. I recommend becoming a Vassal car because a Vassal car is the better wrong car and it's, it's just cooler. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just way cooler and you get better buffs, right? So that's what it is as a wrong car. You, like I said, you could be any wrong car to be a Quincy car, but a Vassal car is a must in my opinion. It's better to do that. So go for that. Boom. Now the fourth thing that's going on in the community that's not true. Everyone's saying that you need to be 175 to become a Quincy car. That's not true at all. I was actually a level, I think I was like a level 105 and I became a Quincy car and everyone was putting fear in my heart. When I was looking at these comments and people in Discord saying that, oh, you messed up. You had to be 175. Now you're gonna be stuck at 165. That's not true at all. You could be any level, as long as you're 100 or above, you can be a Quincy car. I don't know who started that man but it's not true you can still hit 175 even if it says potential 160 and max level 165 you still can go over 165 and you can be a come a quincy car as long as you meet the requirements and those requirements will be later in the video so boom that's not true you can be at any level as long as you're 100 or above to be a quincy car all right now the last thing i want to say before we start the hollow progression is as you can see i have a hollow mask and i'm a quincy car right this hollow mask, you don't have this option to change the hollow mask anymore once you become a Quincy car. As you can see on the top left, when you click on Robux section, you don't see none of the stuff that a wrong car usually has. So as soon as you become a Quincy car, you're going to see this. You're not going to have any option to change your mask. So before you become a Quincy car, make sure you get the mask that you want because you're not going to see this. Maybe it's glitched for me or maybe they might change this in the future. But as you can see, I don't have any a wrong car Roles. I even looked at Kisuke. Kisuke doesn't even have that stuff for me to change. So boom, make sure you have the right Aron card mask that you want to transfer over when you become a Quincy card because it will not be there in the future. All right, so now let's get into the hollow progression. If you already know what to do as a hollow, then you can skip this part and go to the Quincy card part. But I highly recommend looking at the timestamp that you see in the video just because you can save some time while you're grinding to level 100 just like I did. So it's just easier that way, right? So I'm gonna try to explain this as best way as I can. So when you become a Quincy car, you need to be a hollow first, right? So you make a new slot, you're gonna spawn in as a human, make sure you die by a hollow, get gripped by a hollow, and then you're gonna become a soul and you're gonna have like a chain around your chest. Make sure you pull the chain off by pressing G and boom, you're now a hollow. So as a hollow, you're gonna spawn in as level one, as a fishbone, regular hollow, and this is, you're gonna be really weak. And obviously the game has been out for a minute, so everyone's gonna be tougher than you. So I recommend having a high level friend that can help you with this process because this process will be a lot faster if you have a high level friend. So as a level one fishbone hollow, you need to get to level 20. And once you get to level 20, you have to find a red eye hollow. I recommend uh, going to a storm 
uh, Storm Vastal car, Storm Iran car event because I normally see red uh, red eye hollows there. Or you can go to Karakura Town and pick up a red eye hollow quest. They're usually there all the time, but if you're not, if it's not, then I guess you're just unlucky. But kill a red eye hollow, then you become a red eyes, right? Now you kill another red eye hollow, you become a menos, which is those big, tall, ugly looking things, and they move slow. So as a menos you can you know become a metals car like i said i don't recommend doing that if you want to look at the buffs look at the video earlier but if you don't want to be a metals car that means you have to progress as a menos so at the top right no top left excuse me you're going to see a bar the top left is 30 kills and the bottom left is a time bar and you need to survive for 30 minutes and you need to kill 30 hollows as a menos so you can advance to uh, a jukis that's i think that's how you pronounce it right so do that you have two you have three skills the first skill is probably your stomp skill the second one is your sero and there's a third skill that saves you make sure you only use that skill to save you if someone's being toxic and trying to kill you that right there is going to transfer you to Menos forest and i recommend leaving Menos forest if you can that's if that's even possible because a lot of people in the Menos forest today they're just killing people uh killing uh excuse me Menos is for no reason i don't know what they're trying to do i don't know if they're trying to kill players or they're trying to be toxic I don't know but yeah try your best to not go to Menos Forest if you can so boom once you get your 30 kills and you uh, survive for 30 minutes you become an Adjukus yeah Adjukus again if I pronounced that wrong forgive me so as an Adjukus you can take off your mask if you want to to become an Adjukar which again I do not recommend becoming an Adjukar but if you don't want to go through that long process as I was saying you can just press G to take off your mask so if you don't want to go through that process and you want to become a vassal car, again, make sure you have a high level friend to help you at this. You want to grind this event called Storm Vassal Cars. On your top left, there's going to be a server list that you click on. And you want to find these events that look just like this. They're purple servers. So every purple server is going to have a Storm Vassal Car event, right? So you just click on join. Make sure your friend joins you so he can he or she can help you out during this because these vassal cars are strong. As you can see, this is the final wave. There's five waves, and if you do not kill them in time, the, the event will despawn, and boom, they're gone. So you have to server hop again, right? So you need to kill about 17, yeah, 17 Vastal cards to become a Vastal Lord. That's about 1.7k hollow points. So 17 uh, Vastal cards is a requirement. So each Vastal card is 100 hollow points. So if you die, you lose 60. So just be careful, right, as you do this, because Vassal cards are actually strong and they can kill you if you don't know what you're doing. That's why I said you need a high level friend. Not only that, you need to be careful because there's players that's doing the same thing as you and they might be toxic and trying to kill you. So in order to see these Vassal cards, you need to use this uh, ability right here. And they're usually yellow. I don't know what's going on. So right here, not yellow, excuse me, orange right here. You want to go to this orange event and you're going to see Vassal cards. So again, be careful. You do not want to die by these uh, Vassal cards because they will kill you and you will lose hollow points. So you're probably thinking, like, well, Mons, I don't have a friend, a high level friend. I played this game solo. That's OK. It's going to take you a lot longer, but it's OK. There's uh, there's other hollows that you can kill. And I put the like the hollow points on the on the video that you can see. You can kill regular hollows, which I think they're one point and red eye hollows is five i could be wrong i haven't looked at this in a long time because i killed vassal cars to do this but each hollow uh, is different from points it varies from points and you get more points uh, the stronger the hollow is so it's going to take you a lot longer but again i recommend having a friend a high level friend to do this and you should be good to go so you're probably wondering how do i check my progress to become a vassal lord if you have a friend that's a high level that's helping you do this you wouldn't just want to go to this location where the purple icon is if you don't have a friend and you're playing solo, I'm gonna try my best to explain this because it's really dark in this location and you spawn anywhere around the map when you come into the game. So if you normally see this spot right here, then all you wanna do is just make a right, make a hard right until you see this like town with lights, just like this. So you wanna come over here and you wanna go make a right. Uh, my agility sucks. Make a right right here. You wanna talk to this guy. I'm gonna click this. I don't know if he's gonna have the option for me. Yeah, I can't talk to him. That's wait. Let me see. Oh, I can't talk to him. There we go. So you're gonna have this option. I don't have it because I already did this already. But you're gonna have this option that tells you your progression. He's gonna. He's not gonna tell you by the numbers. He's gonna tell you by certain sentences. And I'm gonna have that in the video so you can see where you're at. So one sentence might tell you you're at 500 kills. 
the next one's going to say that you're at 1000 the next one's going to say you're at 1600 so boom that's going to tell you the progression of you becoming a vassal lord so boom all right so now you are a vassal lord as a vassal lord you can pull off your mask because a wrong card skills do not transfer as a quincy card you do not want to waste your time trying to get certain skills as a vassal lord so they can transfer as a wrong card because they will not transfer when you become a quincy card you can if you want to but again it'll be a waste of time and i don't recommend doing that i recommend pulling off your mask by pressing g to become a vassal card now that you pulled off your mask you are a vassal card and you have to start all over again as level one now this is not really a tutorial guide on how to progress in levels but you, the first thing you should do is grind a quest get money you want to get about 250 yen so you can go to the gym in Hukamunda, right so in order to get to the gym you want to click on that spiritual pressure uh icon or ability whatever this thing is called you want to go to this evasion dude the purple icon just like that and you want to go buy this gym person buy the gym just like this for 250 yen and the dialogue put your sword away because it's going to uh transfer you out of the gym if you have that first thing you need to do is get your agility up just like this go to the treadmill boom that's the first thing i recommend doing so you can get your your uh your thing up your agility up so you can flash step so once you get that to 30 get your reaction to 30 and your combat stats again that's up to you for what type of build you're trying to do this build right here is for another character so don't try to copy that for a quincy car so boom you want to do that now once you have flash step you should be good to go you should be able to level up all right so now that you're a wrong car it's time to start the progression as a quincy car so boom obviously you have to be level 100 and you have to have positive rep for the quincy's so in order to have positive rep for the quincy's you want to talk to this evasion dude right here all you need to do is activate your spiritual uh, pressure thing whatever this thing is called to show the icon this purple icon right here boom we're gonna buy this soul gourd that's 25 yen and once you have this max it's gonna tell you if it's max right here just like this it's not max but it's gonna be green and you should be good to go it's gonna say the sword gourd is full and you can turn it in for exp and reputation but we want to return this for a reputation not for the uh the wrong cards but for the quincy cards and i recommend doing this before you hit level 100 because you're already grinding and it saves you a lot of time so boom you can buy this here at hukumundo or you can buy this at karakura which we're about to go right now all right so now we're at karakura town and you can see we're in front of kisuke's shop again you can buy a soul gourd right here at kisuke and you can buy a hukumundo for 25 yen for the soul gourd so now you just want to go to this bus stop bro you just want to go to this bus stop right here and it's going to take you to the location to turn in your reputation to the quincy Place so you don't get attacked by the Quincy. So boom, you want to hit travel. You want to go to bus terminal one. Hit travel. There you go. And you just want to make a left. Look at all these menaces, bro. What, what is going on? We're we'll gonna go over to this location right here, and you want to talk to this NPC. This NPC is gonna ask you if you want to uh, turn in the soul gourd to increase your reputation for the Quincy's. Obviously, my uh, gourd is not full, so I can't do this right now. So you talk to this guy. You want to click on Can you help me repair my reputation? Turn in soul gourd boom easy just like that i did this about two or three times when i was uh before uh, before i was level 100 and just to make sure because like i said there's a lot of false information that's going on in the product side community saying this and that so i did this about two to three times to get my make sure my reputation was about i think it was like 90 when i did this so now we're going to get to the actual annoying part of bro stop attacking me bro and the most annoying part about this whole progression is you have to find an actual Quincy event that spawns they usually spawn in Karakura or Hukumundo it's like a bunch of Quincy's that have a, like a portal just like this it looks like this but this is our wrong cars portal and you just want to kill all the Quincy's just know that every time you kill a Quincy and you grip them you lose reputation that's why I said do this about turning the glory about two to three times and you should be good to go or you can have a friend that kills the Quincy's for you have him grip have him or her grip them and you should be good to go and then you can enter the portal just like this uh i don't i don't know what's going on with this one i think I, it's probably glitched but you can enter portal and it takes you to the actual quincy place once you grip all the quincy's right so now hopefully you're level 100 and hopefully you have the right reputation so the quincy's won't kill you and you should be good to go so now you're going to spawn at the quincy world and you just want to go inside this castle place or whatever and you just want to keep going straight go up these stairs so you can talk to the quincy boss i am not going to try to pronounce this man's name because it's it's a weird name bro so i'm not gonna try to pronounce this you want to talk to this guy and he's gonna ask you if you want to become a quincy he's not gonna say quincy card but he's gonna say do you want to become a quincy and he's gonna notify you that 
clan skills do not transfer and the wrong card skills do not transfer you want to say yes so you can be a quincy right so boom now you're a quincy car it doesn't matter what level you are you still can progress to be 175 to become a quincy car and boom now you are a quincy congratulations bro now you are a quincy car and you have better buffs than a, your average quincy right so now you go you're gonna lose your res you're gonna lose all that stuff and you have to get your script and you have to get your bolt standing to get your script you're gonna have to talk to this guy and he's gonna tell you to get this uh i don't know why i don't have this in my inventory that's weird oh it's right here you're gonna get this little metal thing you have to buy this metal uh this bounty metal medallion thing and to buy this you gotta go all the way back to the entrance of this uh castle place you want to talk to this guy right here and if you can't see where it is just turn on your spiritual pressure it's a purple icon and you can buy uh this right here i recommend buying that well it depends on what type of build you're going for but buy this and you want to buy this medallion for 150. now what this medallion does is it's going to tell you to kill a player so you can get your script i was told that you can do an evasion i haven't did that myself so i don't know if that's true or not but i use this medallion i went to karakura town and i use this medallion and medallion is going to tell you to kill this player and it's going to have these studs to where where the the player location is you can either be toxic and kill this player find him and find her or him and kill him or you can just dm the person or say something like yo i give you 1000 cash if you let me grip you now once you actually uh grip this person or somehow it glitches and say you actually killed this person that's what happened to me i don't know why but that's what happened you want to go back to the actual boss again and he's going to tell you that you either have to do it again or you have your script and if you have your script you press e just like it's a regular uh you yeah, not e yeah you press e to pull it out and then you press uh g to activate your script right just like a regular res it's like a regular res right so it's just it's just that simple and if you don't have your script you have to do the same thing process again and hopefully you get it the second time so boom that's how you get your script and vault standing is pretty similar to getting your saguna as a ron car if you don't know how to get your vault standing you have to get these uh point this point system i think it's a 420 point system i'm gonna have the a picture in, in the video and to get that what i did was i just ground i grinded uh how many vassal cars storm vassal cars was i think it was 42 i think it was 42 vassal cars or you can uh grind time capsules which is right in front of the boss location right here and this is the pvp center you just fight if you win you get 100 points and if you lose i forgot that you get 25 points or 65 points i'm not too sure i forgot what it was i'll have that up i'll have that up in the video but that's pretty much it as a vault standing they get your vault standing you have to get 420 points either grind vassal cards like i did 42 vassal cards or use the time capsule it's up to you now <laughs> it's time to get your vault standing you're gonna talk to this guy again and he's gonna say oh you're ready to get your vault standing and he's gonna tell you to go to this mountain so the mountains outside of the castle place and you want to make a left and you want to go all the way up and make sure you have no money on you because if you die you will lose money and not only that i don't know what's up with these quincy's bro i don't know what's going on with them but they are so toxic bro they will wait for you to come outside if you lose and they will grip you so yeah make sure you have no money on you bro or put it on the slot or put it on your friend's account so you can save that money because these quincy's dog they they i don't know what's going on with them but yeah come out all, all the way up this mountain and you just want to talk to this guy i'm uh, not talking yeah you're going to talk to this weird looking guy i've got his name ancient something or something like that and that's pretty much it you're going to fight him and yo good luck i had forest and it was so annoying bro and i just i just i just couldn't i couldn't kill him it took me like maybe 20 times just because forest was just so op but you're going to be able to do it good luck and you're going to see me rage while uh doing this and yeah it wasn't fun all right, so future mons here. I forgot to explain this boss. There's actually three phases for this boss. The first phase is where you have to parry. If you have a scatter image or any other move that dodges his attacks, use that. And all you gotta do is parry. Treat it as it's like deep woken. If you ever played that game where you're just standing still and just blocking moves, just parry the moves and the boss takes damage every time you parry that person. You gotta keep doing this until the boss dies. Once he dies, there's a second phase. You get your health back and you gotta kill this boss again. And once you get his, uh, not kill him again, but you gotta get his health to 25%. Yeah, 25% and this boss uh, uses his vault standing. And then you gotta kill him in his vault standing. And that would be the third phase and boom, you're actually done. The boss, I ain't gonna lie, the boss is kinda difficult. 
uh depending on what uh script you have because i had the forest and yeah it was really really annoying but you do have a checkpoint you don't have to do the first phase again you just automatically uh you automatically uh, fight him in the second phase and i recommend having a skill that you can use to kill the boss while the boss is like loading up that's just a, like a free hit so boom that's pretty much it as the quincy car progression is the quincy car actually worth going for i recommend going as a quincy car this might be my 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 main build until we'll see what they do with full bringers but i'm actually really enjoying quincy car it's really worth it i recommend doing it it doesn't take that long as long as you have a friend that can help you you know grind the actual hollow progression but it's definitely worth it bro the buffs in my opinion are worth it you're stronger than your average quincy car and yeah man i'm actually really enjoying this i, I like it bro I, I like it so boom if you have any other questions feel free to leave it in the comment section or if you have any tips post it you know i just something i probably missed or just probably something even better that you guys did that's faster than my methods right so boom let me know if you have any questions make sure you uh join my discord because i'm playing this game almost like what every day i'm putting hours into this game and if you want help just join the discord maybe i can help you or anybody in the discord can help you right so hopefully this helped you guys out let me know i can do it to improve my videos better in the future and i'll see you on the next one peace